Welcome back, gang, to another episode of Prey. We've got some uh, fabricators we can start using. Ah, now I have a lot of different things I can make. Um, ooh, okay. Oh, good. I was going to say, oh, please don't let me try to figure out which one's which. No. Gloopy gloop. Forty two is not a huge amount, then we should probably try and make some more. That's more like it. Let's uh let's get some bullets. Did I just get the equipment for it? Or did I actually pick one up? I don't want to make one if I've already got one. Bullets. No, I don't see any propulsion system. Let's heat up a little bit though. Free up some space. Prepare my suit. Okay, so we'll uh, okay. Propulsion system is a go. Bolt Caster. The Huntress Bolt Caster launches foam darts which do zero damage, also known for its ability to annoy co workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Okay. But you never know. additional things I might see if I can stick them in a in a recycler. There's no point in having two wrenches and two guns. I did not want to transfer you. Transfer my junk. 
Like the, the, the alcohol cures fear. <laughs> it's like, yes, this will give me what I need. Might as well make some more bullets. Okay, I think that's a good little selection of stuff now. We have plenty of ammo. We have plenty of ammo in our goop gun. Plenty of ammo in our pistol. And now, I'm gonna head outside and see what the hell happens when we go outside. See how this goes. <laughs> Microgravity detected. Microgravity. Your Transstar suit is equipped with a propulsion system to navigate the harsh environment of space. To navigate in zero G, use the movement buttons to thrust and shift of boost thrust. Plus Q and E to break. You can put space to ascend and C to descend. Oh, okay. This can get complicated. Especially if I have to fight creepy DP monsters. Human corpse. Kind of dark. <laughs> Smash right into his face. Not surprising. Well done. This isn't too bad to navigate as I as I thought it might be. So try and find these uh, human corpses. This is pretty big. Oh, all right. 
he wasn't a bad guy. <laughs> I just saw him and I was like, you're one of those things. Now I've lost where the human corpse was. And that one, it was really close. Yeah, there you are. Then he goes to a body and he's like, Oh, help me, I'm still alive. You know, there are other doors to go to, but they all appear to be locked. We got another human corpse to find. Ah! ah. Got too cocky. Corpse. At least there's no, uh, at least there's no time limit. Don't oh, look at that guy. Pretty lost as to where I am. Where's this corpse? I don't know what well, screw it, we'll go back. Floating in the vast expanse of space. Try not to smash into anything. Back inside. It's quite a nifty little idea about the whole when you remove a neuromod, it resets the memory back to the day that it was installed. It creates quite an interesting, like an interesting twist on the uh, amnesia cliched storyline. Right, we have the key card. Now we can get to the workshop. And 
don't forget to get electrocuted every time. Bastard. Yeah, it's like, don't start what you can't finish. Oh, I don't want to go back through there and get those executed again, it? it takes up a lot of life. Get out through here. Some of that phantom went, but uh, I'm sure we'll meet each other again at some point. and all these goodies. Before we go to our main objective. Mary, this is Dr. Calvino. I require you to fabricate a fabricate a travel mug that weighs exactly 170 grams, empty of course. My feeble hands need a lightweight container for my coffee. I'll be sure to put in a good word to Dr. Thornstein for your assistance. Okay, I'll get right on that. Clive, this is Dr. Calvino. I need you to modify a scale so that when it reads 170 grams, it sets an on-off signal. Please let me know when, it, when it's ready. I've had a look at the specs you sent me. I see a few problems. I didn't realize you'd offloaded so much of the processing and storage. What if someone took a wrench to the main server? The whole system goes down? Anyway, come by when you get a chance and we'll go over the details. I have a few suggestions if you're amenable.
Many Transtar employees have private workstations. Locked stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email, files to download, or special utilities. Well, the power's off. computer stuff. It's running? Light field capture looks a little hot. Where's the photometer? The handheld. D did you take it? No. Ah, y yesterday we had two, now I can't find one. We've only ever had one. Nonsense. I guess you forgot. Hmm. <laughs> yesterday we had two, now we've got one. Yes, I wonder why. You're leaving? Uh, I thought we were done. Nah, just... just turn it off then. I feel like you're upset with me. No, I, uh... I suppose it's, it's late after all. Uh, go, go, uh, sleep. What about you? What about me? Yeah, don't concern yourself. I'll finish. Right. I guess I'll see you later then. Yeah, you guess. What? You're always saying, I guess. That worked, I guess. I'll see you later, I guess. You're a scientist. Stop guessing. No! Or be quiet. Yeah, that's all. Good night, Dr. Calvino. You're on piscatole.
What are you doing, Doctor? Right, well, let's go back and watch the rest of my video. Didn't like that, did you? Let's go back to the lobby. Let's go back to the lobby. Friendly operators can be summoned from the operational dispensers dis distributed throughout Talos 1. Friendly operators? There were no friends in this game. Just mimics. Back to the main hub. Hmm. Haven't been up here before. Sales division. Yuri Kimura, Kimura. So these things can take out people's bodies, or the humans can become these things. After I spent that time making it myself. Everyone knows how to stick on a neuro mod. It's gross and disgusting. Lots of text to read. Four neuro mods, nice. You can't ship it home, it's already been noticed. One month pay makes it go away. Hmm. Well, before we continue and go to our video and watch what else I had to say to myself before my memory got wiped, I think we're going to call that a episode. So um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we will continue this in the next episode of Prey. Until then, take care.